Logano struggling right here. Really beat the nine car through one and two, but the nine's back, trying to make a pass down the back straightaway. Oh, up the racetrack, almost into the door, Logano. Now he's Byron. gonna get some help here. Yeah, Byron's gonna push his teammate. Also, I think they feel like the 22 car is a little bit slower. They feel like they can get by him if they work together. It's a battle for the lead, Truex with a very fast car. You can see right there how you, the one car drove away from him. That was Truex getting tight off the corner behind that wake. Just lost the downforce. Kyle yes. down to the bottom of the racetrack and just up the racetrack into the door of the 12, and that brings him right around. I'm surprised by that because we've seen a lot of cars using that bottom groove and being pretty stable. But he went in the turn and the car just looked like it come out from under him and just had to chase it up the track. And unfortunately, he chased it up into the 12. And I think he saves that if, if, if the 12's not there. Big move by the 22 of Logano, a two for one down the back stretch. Corey LaJoy flying in there trying to make it three wide. That was a late move. That was. Everybody really lucky right there to get through that okay. Way back in the pack, man, the racing is insane. It's still not really sorted itself out. Everybody trying to take advantage of each other, trying to take positions away. Don't try to get that last half of tenths when they have a fast race car, because the damage and the extra work puts them further behind. See how that five car looked like he was beat off the corner until he gets closer to the 20, and then 20 has to almost lift off the gas. It makes him tight. Really interesting to watch these cars kind of interact and engage with each other in the corner. See right here, oh, Whoa. five, almost. Almost spun the car out, way out of the throttle, losing lots of spots right here. Yeah, everybody trying to get around Larson, and he's probably trying to catch his breath. As we saw the 11 of Denny Hamlin get right up to him, cut him a little bit of a break there. Yeah, he needs to. He, he owes him a bit. I think he's just trying to, he's trying to repay a little at a time from what happened at Pocono. Suarez coming back on the inside, but Martin Truex Jr. runs away, and he is going to win stage Car one. Car in the wall, off turn four, Rick. Car in the wall, I think it's the 24, William Byron. Hard contact. Byron's slow on the track now. The caution comes out for the end of the stage, as well as the 24 of Byron. He was running ninth and just shot into the wall. I don't know if there was contact from another car. Been able to get on the low side of the 48, but just not able to get up alongside of him. Right here, though, just look at him, trying to side draft just a little bit. It's gonna be able to pull him up alongside. Bowman's gonna come down the racetrack, try to do the same thing. Gonna be able to race off into turn one. Whoa. Oh, Christopher Bell spinning. And will he collect anyone? He gets into the wall, caution comes out. Bell fighting for the lead, spins on his own, and into the wall he goes. He was trying to drive. Uh, we're rolling, guys. He was trying to drive into turn one, just take the line away, right? And the 48 of Bowman was not having it. Two drivers going for the same piece of racetrack. As he enters the corner, watch this right here. So the 48 gets a run. Bell up the racetrack, trying to take the line away. And again, a little bit of contact, really close together, and around he goes. And we haven't been seeing this with this car. This is very unique. Normally when these cars get side by side, there isn't a problem with the inside car, but today with this tire, this racetrack, it has been a challenge. Maybe he didn't get as big a push as he wanted from Kyle Larson. Oh, a little contact right there between the seven and 12. More contact. A lot of lane changes. Now, how aggressive will this group be? You know, blaney has got a short fuse. Blaney is making more contact down the front straightaway with the seven. Got on the outside of him, drove down the racetrack. Still upset about what happened back there a lap ago. And another aggressive move by Ross Chastain behind him as we see him now get close to the back bumper of Ryan Blaney. Now this is the first accident. This is the first little situation. So Blaney gets to the outside, seven gets loose, they make contact. And this is just after that, a lap later. He's like, I'm mad at you, man. <laughs> I'll let you know. 
still hanging at your door. Bubba Wallace to the inside here, three wide down the back straightaway. He's going to clear into the lead. A huge run for Bubba Wallace, and he takes the lead at Michigan. Brad Kozlowski in the six, trying the same move on the bottom of the racetrack. Here comes Mark Tricks Jr. back on the outside. Big run down the back, down the front straightaway on that outside line. Brad Kozlowski trying to hold him up as much as possible. Yeah, and I talked to Dave on the hauler this morning and kind of asked what they were thinking about this race, and they said, we feel like we have a car that can win. Now, it's Dave Ellen, so it was tempered excitement. It looks like we have a caution for the 41. Yeah, yeah the 41 in turn two looks like he might have got up into the wall, and you see a lot of damage on the back of that car. He was running 23rd. I think he's all right damage-wise. I believe he just got a right rear tire going down. He recognized that right away going off into turn one. Slowed the car down. Didn't get into the fence at all, but that's the that's the second tire that we've seen today. The second right rear tire we've seen today fail. Got now you got that 19 car Truex all <laughs> over the back of him now. Look at the 19. He came to pit road on lap 102, and now look at this. The possibility exists he could win the stage. Daniel needs to recognize that that 19 car is just faster. And what, how aggressive do you get right here? Don't overdrive this thing. Even if you get eight stage points instead of 10, it's still a huge gain. Here comes Truex high. On the high side, Daniel's going to squeeze him. Truex to the inside, down the front straightaway. Tries to side draft him, and he'll do it. Truex is going to win the stage. What a run for the 19 team. Sweep stage one and two. That was pretty good racing. <laughs> My goodness. Hart's Hart been able to make that top groove work. I've watched him back in traffic using some of that resin. Oh, we got a crash down the back straightaway. Looks like Alex Bowman's around. Yeah, big contact there. Alex Bowman slammed into the side of another car, too. So he may have had some contact from someone else, but Bowman goes around. It's going to get. Squeezed oh. into the wall right there by Michael McDowell, teammate. And I believe the 48 may have gotten contact from the left rear. Yeah, uh, maybe his teammate. Maybe. The five, possibly. Take another look. So top of the screen, 38's coming up off the corner. Oh, the two did not know they were three wide. Shoves McDowell into his teammate. And then, yeah, Bowman gets contact from, I believe, the 14. So far, it's been been a good job by the 17. And, and Brad said earlier this week, commenting on the win from last week at Richmond, the next thing for this organization is a multi-win season. I don't think he was talking about this weekend, but here we are. Chris Buescher, they were fast in qualifying, laid down some killer laps to put this car in the top 10. Well, and to add to that, you know, Keselowski is now fifth as the pit cycle has continued. You know, he's all the way up inside the top five. So I think at this point, Truex is going to have to start seeing what's up top. He knows that the 17 is shading low. He's protecting that bottom groove. You see the season this team's had over there on the left in the pylon. Maybe it's time for Truex to start seeing what the middle or the top side of this racetrack looks like for him. Try to make a pass. It's going to go down here low. The 17 going to be able to block it. Truex is there. He's going to be side by side off the corner. Here comes Truex down the back stretch. Truex is going to try to bury it down into turn three. So is the 17. A little side drafting, and will he be able to clear him? He does it. There's a car in front. That's the 34 of McDowell. Now, who will use that car as the side draft happens again? Martin Shrek's Jr. surging ahead as he pulled the 17 back. Now the 17 side drafts him back. Whoa, the 19's coming up the track a little bit. He's loose. He has to get out of the gas. Oh, my goodness. You saw the fire come out of the pipes of the 19 car. That's when he lifted off the throttle. And now Busher's driving away. That's a big gap that Truex is going to have to earn back. But now Busher knows the weakness. Now Busher knows no matter what, if the 19 gets underneath me, I'm going to put my door on his door because he is loose underneath. 
Nobody's been able to drive down into turn one on the inside with success, and Truex had to try it. He, he had no other choice, but just that's been a low percentage move all race long, and you can see the back of the car step out. Does a good job of saving it. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports and NBC YouTube channel.